Hi. What if I share with you today evidence of a West African people who share the same set of names as ancient Egyptians, Ethiopians, Canaanites, and Israelites? What if I share that with you for the first time? How would you feel? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trick Theology. Today I'm going to place the Akan people of West Africa in the land of Canaan. This will be the beginning of the Akan part of our research. We'll go back to other tribes within Ghana and the West African region and beyond. But today we're going to begin a long journey exploring the path of the Akan people of West Africa. If you're watching this video, you have access to the internet. I'm going to recommend that you install a Bible concordance on your device. I will be recommending other etymological tools and books as we go along. But for today's video, a simple Bible concordance is enough to prove everything. So go ahead, pause the video and install the app so that you also get to repeat this when the video is over. It is going to be a long journey, but it's beautiful. So buckle up and let's take a ride. Content for today's video was sourced from the subtopic Deep Scanning Akan Culture from the book Follow the Name to Wisdom, Truth and Secrets by the Righteous Conqueror. Those of you who have downloaded this book, you can go ahead and, and, and read the subtopic Deep Scanning Akan Culture and get details that will not be available in this video. There are two Canaanite kings named in the Bible and the two have one and the same name. This particular name can be tracked to West Africa today. This name which appears in the Bible was changed by Christians to a European so-called equivalent J-A-B-I-N in the European voice that is pronounced J-B-I-N. This is why you need a Bible concordance. The Bible concordance shows the original name, the way it was used, the way it was spelled, the way it was pronounced in the original text. And then it tries to give you definition or meaning so launch your concordance application and go to Joshua chapter 11 verse 1. The name Jabin is what we are interested in. J-A-B-I-N is what we are interested in. That name appears on the first line of this quotation. J-A-B-I-N. Go to Joshua chapter 11 verse 1. To activate the concordance feature of the application, click on the S underline symbol at the top right corner of the application. Now that the concordance feature is available, we can see that Jabin appears under the code 2985. The H stands for Hebrew. Now, on the pop-up that followed, the details are segmented as follows. First, you get the modern Hebrew spelling at the top. Uh, the transliteration which starts, which is Y-A-B-I-Y-N. Now, then you get the pronunciation, which is Yaobene. And then definition, which is the most important part to me, it says, intelligent. The same name Yaobene exists in Ghana today, and it means intelligent. In Ghana, a person who goes by the name Yaobene was born on Yawada, a day dedicated to the God of Israel, whose full name is Yahuwah. A benepart means intelligent. In fact, in Ghana today, the title for a professor is a benefo, which means an intelligent one. Ladies and gentlemen, I have proven to you that the Israelites lived long enough in Canaan to still have Canaanite names in their culture back in West Africa after 
more than 2,000 years. Now moving forward, I'll be taking you to other names that come from Ethiopia, that comes from that comes from Egypt, that comes from other places that you that, that will make it very very clear to you that we're talking about Hebrews who are Israelites living here in West Africa. There will be no doubt about it by the time I'm done. I am the righteous conqueror. I wage love. I hate war. So at the beginning of this journey, I uploaded a video on the name Tutu which appeared in the tomb of an ancient Egyptian noble. The same name Tutu appears here in West Africa and also in South Africa. That video proves that the ancient Egyptians were black, but it also shows that Israelites will have to share similar names as some of these people because they married into their families and they lived long enough with those people. I want you to watch this video next as you prepare for the next installment on the Akan story. See you in the next video.